My name is Dr. Matt Hassan. I'm a urologist with Urology Associates. Uh, one of the, the real advances in surgery in the last few years has been the development of robotics. What robotics is, it's essentially a way of, of enabling surgeons to do more difficult procedures in a minimal, minimally invasive fashion than they've been able to do before. Uh, robotics is essentially the same as traditional laparoscopic surgery with the small incisions. However, rather than being limited to uh, the traditional chopstick-like instrumentations and a small TV monitor, I'm able to bring a large robotic machine which I can then hook up to pre-positioned ports in a, place, in a patient's abdomen. And at that point, I take my gown off. I walk across the room. I'm no longer part of the sterile surgical field, but rather I put my head into a uh, a three-dimensional console where I can see in three dimensions. Uh, I also then put my fingers into a ratchet system and any movement that my hands do, the robot then mimics on the inside of the patient's abdomen. And, and the clear benefit of that is that I have available all the range of motion of my hands rather than, again, being limited to the chopstick motion of, of traditional laparoscopy. Also, this viewer that I have my head in is a, a three-dimensional viewer. It's high definition. It's 14 times magnified over regular vision, so it really leads to tremendous optics, and that leads to more reliable outcomes, uh, more predictable outcomes, and really better, better outcomes for the patient. That's what we're all looking for in, in surgery. Uh, one of the procedures that we do in my practice robotically is, is for prostate cancer. We're able to take out a cancerous prostate gland through small incisions using the, the surgical robot, and, and there's quicker recovery with it, uh, there's better, certainly better optical visualization during surgery, and that can lead to, the, to better outcomes in the things that people worry a lot of, about a lot, which are preservation of continence and preservation of potency, which are important things for any prostate cancer treatment. And it's really advances like that that the robot has been able to bring to the table for urology management. Uh, we have applied this technology to other procedures we do out there, including the partial nephrectomy. And what a partial nephrectomy is, is essentially taking out part of a kidney for kidney cancer. And so with this robot, you literally can cut into a kidney and remove just the part of the kidney that has the cancer in it and leave the healthy kidney behind. And that's clearly a benefit for our patients. Other procedures we do robotically are uh, pyeloplasties. And a pyeloplasty is essentially a, a complex reconstruction of the tube that drains the kidney down to the bladder. And that tube's called the ureter. Uh, ureters, you can be born with a blockage in or you can develop it over time. Uh, regardless, using the surgical robot, it takes a, a relatively complex reconstructive process and makes it into a relatively straightforward one, which is again a real benefit for patients. Uh, essentially, any procedure where there's lots of reconstruction involved, meaning sewing and tying, that's really where the robot helps us out dramatically in surgical management. Uh, Following robotic surgery, most patients are able to go home in about 24 hours from the hospital. Uh, and that's compared to traditional incision surgery where patients are in the hospital for three, four, five days. It just kind of depends on the surgery that they're having done at the time. But clearly we're seeing quicker recoveries, significantly less pain, definitely less blood loss, and, and patients are getting back to their normal lives in a matter of a couple of weeks after robotic surgery. And it's advances like these which have really allowed robotics to, to further the science of how we take care of our urologic diseases today. And, and at Urology Associates, we're going to be at the forefront of that change.